Could a creature like Godzilla really exist? Hi friends, today we're going to explore a fascinating question. Could a creature like Godzilla really exist? Godzilla is one of the most iconic monsters in pop culture, known for its massive size, destructive power, and connection to radiation. But is such a creature scientifically possible? Let's dive into the science behind Godzilla and find out. The size of Godzilla. First, let's talk about Godzilla's size. In most movies, Godzilla is depicted as a giant creature, often over 100 meters tall and weighing thousands of tons. But could a creature of this size actually exist? 1. The Square Cube Law In biology, there's a principle called the Square Cube Law. It states that as an animal grows larger, its volume and weight increases faster than its surface area. For example, if you double the height of a creature, its weight increases by 8 times but its leg strength only increases by four times. This means a creature as large as Godzilla would collapse under its own weight because its legs wouldn't be strong enough to support its massive body. 2. Bone and Muscle Strength The bones and muscles of a creature like Godzilla would need to be incredibly strong to support its size. On Earth, the largest animals, like blue whales, are supported by water, which reduces the stress on their bodies. But on land, no creature could grow as large as Godzilla without breaking its own bones. Radiation and Godzilla In many Godzilla stories, the creature is awakened or mutated by radiation, often from nuclear tests or accidents. But could radiation really create a monster like Godzilla? 1. Radiation and Mutations Radiation can cause mutations in DNA, which might lead to changes in an organism's size, shape, or abilities. However, most radiation-induced mutations are harmful, causing diseases like cancer, rather than creating super-sized monsters. For a creature to grow as large as Godzilla, it would need a massive amount of radiation, which would likely kill it before any mutations could occur. 2. Radiation as a power source. In some versions of Godzilla, the creature feeds on radiation or uses it as a power source. While some organisms, like certain bacteria, can survive in highly radioactive environments. No known creature can eat radiation or use it as energy. Radiation is harmful to most living things, and no animal has evolved to use it as food. Could animals survive extreme radiation? Some creatures on Earth are surprisingly resistant to radiation. For example, 1. Tardigrades. Also known as water bears, these tiny creatures can survive extreme conditions including high levels of radiation. However, they don't grow larger or gain superpowers, they just survive. 2. Cockroaches Cockroaches are often said to be resistant to radiation, but this is a myth. They can survive higher doses than humans, but they would still die in a nuclear explosion. 3. Danococcus radiodurans This bacterium is one of the most radiation-resistant organisms on Earth. It can repair its DNA even after being exposed to high levels of radiation. But again, it doesn't grow into a giant monster, it just survives. Could Godzilla breathe fire? In many Godzilla movies, the creature has the ability to breathe atomic fire or heat rays. But is this possible? 1. Biological fire breathing. No known animal can breathe fire. Fire requires a combination of fuel, oxygen, and heat which is difficult to produce biologically. Some creatures, like the bombardier beetle, can spray hot chemicals as a defense mechanism, but this is far from breathing fire. 2. Atomic breath. Godzilla's atomic breath is often explained as a result of its radioactive nature. However, there's no scientific basis for an animal to produce or control such energy. Radiation doesn't work that way in real life. Could Godzilla exist in the ocean? Some versions of Godzilla live in the ocean, which might solve the problem of its size. After all, the largest animals on Earth, like blue whales, live in water. But even in the ocean, a creature like Godzilla would face challenges. 1. Food Requirements A creature as large as Godzilla would need an enormous amount of food to survive. In the ocean, it would have to compete with other large predators, and finding enough prey would be difficult. 2. Movement and energy. Moving such a massive body through water would require incredible energy. Even blue whales, 
the largest animals on Earth, have limits to their size and energy needs. Conclusion. So, friends, could a creature like Godzilla really exist? Based on what we know about biology, physics, and radiation, the answer is no. A creature of Godzilla's size and abilities would face too many scientific challenges to survive in the real world. But that doesn't make Godzilla any less awesome. Godzilla is a symbol of nature's power and humanity's fear of the unknown. It's a reminder of how small we are in the face of the universe's mysteries. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content. See you next time.